And when Gideon was come, behold, there was a man that told a dream unto his fellow. This is Judges 7, 13. And he said, behold, I dreamed a dream, and lo, a cake of barley bread tumbled into the host of Midian and came unto the tent and smote it, and it fell and overturned it, that the tent lay alone, or lay flat. Verse 14, and his fellow answered and said, this is nothing else save or except the sword of Gideon and the son of Joash, a man of Israel, for into the hand hath God delivered Midian and all the host. And it was so when Gideon heard the telling of the dream and the interpretation thereof that he worshiped, somebody say he worshiped, and returned into the host of Israel and said, arise for the Lord hath delivered into your hand the host of Midian. Gideon was scared to death. He was so scared when it was time to go down at night into the enemy's camp, he had to take he had to take one of his brothers with him, Fura, in verses 10. So he took him down with him. He used to scare him to go by himself. And they're sneaking up in the enemy's camp while the enemy's in their tents about to go to sleep. And a few of the enemies sitting in the tent and one's telling about a dream they just got woke up scared to death with. Somebody say it was a nightmare. And the nightmare was about this tumbling bread. Come on, somebody. This barley bread that's tumbling into the midst and tearing down everything, laying it long, just flattening it to the ground. And the other fellow sitting there, one of the enemies said, that's none other than Gideon. God has delivered us into his hand. I can see old Gideon looking over there at Fura talking about. <laughs> the devil's had a nightmare and it's me. Somebody shout, the devil's been having a dream. It's been a nightmare. Acts 29, church unto God has been in the enemy's dreams. You have, I have. You who are called by him and washed in his blood, the devil's been having nightmares about your life and that's why you've been, been fought and being attacked. The devils want you to stop today because he's afraid of where you're gonna go if you stay with Jesus. I prophesy to you tonight, saints, hold on to the dream God gave you. You know, the devil's been dreaming some too. The devil been having nightmares. He's been dreaming how he's gonna get defeated by the Lord God and his servants, his anointed. That's bad when the enemy's dreaming of his defeat. Don't you know that's an enemy's nightmare? Boy, I feel joy. Sister Melissa, lift your hands. God said you got many years left. Oh, don't be afraid. He's your healer. Hallelujah. Yeah, I know where that just went, Lord. Fear thou not, for I am with thee, Isaiah 41, 10. Neither be thou dismayed. Quote the rest of it. For I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea. I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout, there's you some reasons to fear not. Why tag team? Because we in a battle. We in a wrestling. WWD, we wrestle devils. Listen. Uh, some of you walk around all the time intimidated about the enemy. There's testimonies that some have in their heart, they're afraid to even share them because they somehow believe the devil's gonna make something bad happen to them if they share what God's did for them. That's a lie. 
on every person in here that somehow deals with fear on any level. And the enemy causes you to hold back because of fear. Get out of your seat and come stand up here in this altar. If you knew how scared he was of the God in you, how afraid he was of what you were going to be doing in the future as God uses you, Psalms 34, for David said, I cried unto the Lord and he has heard my cry and he's delivered me from all my fears. You're not gonna be afraid anymore. Not gonna be afraid of sudden fear. Some of you, the devil's told you, I'm gonna do to you what I did to your parents. I'm gonna do to you what I did to somebody in your family. The devil is a liar. Sister Jody, it has plagued you since a child, but this will not intimidate you ever again. For God's mad, he's come down. He's heard your cry, for he's not give you a spirit of fear, but a power and a sound mind. Second Timothy 1.7. not be afraid of sudden fear and you'll lay yourself down and sleep in peace and it'll be sweet Proverbs 3 25 holy holy you won't be scared about that no more Fear not, I'm with you. To whom is my arm revealed and who shall believe the report of the Lord? Hey, Isaiah 53 and 1, believe his report. Whew. Holy Jesus, no more fear. In the name of Jesus. Somebody see your enemy more afraid of you and the God that's in you than you have ever been of him. The enemy threatens because he feels threatened. Let's face it. This is a spiritual warfare. Jesus said, the words I speak unto you, they're spirit and life, John 6, 63. If you think the devil's gonna just sit by quiet while you serve God and promote the gospel of Christ that delivers people out of his hand, you have been deceived if you think so. He won't. <laughs> 